What's going on everybody? After that whole steering debacle, I thought I'd get into something a little bit easier to deal with, easier to manage, easier to configure. I'm working with some batteries that I think you guys know well. Uh, the way I'm setting up my batteries is I want them watertight, at least water safe, a little bit safer than just being so exposed to the elements. So it was difficult to find something that the battery would fit in. So this, from the dimensions that were displayed online, looked like it would fit perfectly. So we're gonna get into it today and see if we can't manage to snug fit this in. I'll throw in the description the link to the case that I found and hopefully you guys will enjoy it too and be able to use it as well. So let's get into it. So what I got here is a pure outdoors. Uh, it's almost like a camera case or any case for that matter, whatever you wanna to decide to put into it. It looks like it'll fit perfectly. Um, what I did is I purchased a uh, Dakota lithium 54 amp hour from what I've heard they're tried and true They withstand a lot of output, you know as far as longevity to Electronics, so this will end up powering my trolling motor and I also did purchase three of the 10 amp hour battery packs as well I've already ran these and the Yek power box together So that'll give me 30 amp hours of goodness to my fish finder and anything else that I want to power up I mean I think one of these can power up fish finder up to eight hours i think um, at max settings from what i've seen online so this should be well over the threshold of what i need to power anything else so this is pretty straightforward i mean i didn't take any video or show any process of unloading the batteries what i had before here were three of the cabela's 12 volt lead acid i mean one of these is almost double the weight compared to one of the Dakotas and provided a lot less longevity or a lot less time for usage with electronics so those are trash and then we'll get into fitting this battery right inside this case here so we'll see how that works out so online the dimensions said almost near perfect to what the battery was i was worried that it would have been outside dimensions not internal dimensions so we'll see we'll see how this plays out i mean the exact battery length is about nine and a quarter exactly it's about five and seven sixteenths exactly and the height is about eight and a quarter exactly not including the posts so if you were to do a stud it really depends on the height of the stud i'd say eight and a quarter to that little base stud of where you screw in so it really depends on how on what you want to do with these if you want to use the current screws or if you want to add a stud and just use a nut for the top of them i mean it looks like it decreases in width or in length as it goes down yeah it does about nine the inside of this case is about 10 inches as opposed to the top is about 10 and 3 8 so it looks like it should fit snug yeah, that actually fits pretty good. You got about three quarters on each side, left and right, and front and back. So the good thing is that this case actually comes with padding throughout the whole thing. So you got this, this much of padding to play with. So what I want to do is I actually want to I want to add leads to the studs and have these mounted on the outside, so I never have to open this, not even through charging. So. That'll work out a lot better. All of this I purchased on Amazon. I mean, I want to have it padded on each side enough to where it won't bounce around. I mean, look at that alone. I actually played with this a little bit earlier. I broke off some padding. Instead of having this little thin one, there's two little thin ones that come on the top. But those might get removed because once I add the posts, it'll be interfering. I want to cut about the same. Once it's pressed in, it's in there. I mean, the foam will keep it snug all around. These pieces are actually serrated. I'm not sure if you can see that. So they're easier to rip. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, so that's pretty good. All right. And this is actually a, um, it's a Mick Coda quick disconnect plug that I purchased at a local West Marine. I wanted to hook one end of this to the trolling motor and the other end to this to the outside on the studs so that it's a quick plug and play. So it'll be easier to remove. So that'll be good. 
that'll attach to one here and one on the trolley motor and then you still have enough clearance underneath there's about probably an inch above once it's closed inch and a half so that gives it excellent it gives excellent clearance to what you need the only thing that i'm worried about is maybe i don't know if these posts once they're through the the top of the door they will uh interfere but we'll try it out test it out see if we can't make it work That should be it. Drill two holes, provided the studs. Studs fit perfectly. Everything's snapped in. I just gotta find some gauged wire. Right, I actually remembered that I had to use a circuit breaker on the battery. So I'll probably end up just cutting this piece off. Yeah, it looks like it'll be long enough. I can cut this off, put new ends on it. And then when it's open, it'll still be long enough to reach. So that'll work. be a tight seal so let's go check it out mounted in the kayak I actually I added some straps here that I mounted some stainless steel posts so this one comes up front this I have to shorten now that it's the battery getting relocated up front here and then I added little carabiners to the ends of these to mount them in a way We'll bring the load down up front and bring the load down in the back. Let's drop this down for now. The way I did it, well, this goes into one bungee, and then another bungee here, and another bungee there. And then you can sort of tight, you can tighten them close. drop down it's pretty solid if I want to I can I can tighten the bungees that's not there I might actually add the padding underneath it just so it'll keep it from sliding forward and back but I mean it's in there so it ain't going nowhere still clears the trolling motor it's actually perfect and then I'll shorten this cord to where it's just enough to, to reach that there and relieve all of this excess and then I'll use my Minn Kota quick release system up here. Oh, thank you. Test it out. Yeah, looks like it works. 
And all it is is a matter of a disconnect and we're good. So I might actually try, now that I have some batteries to put a little bit more weight up front, I might try to do a, a float test. So once I get everything mounted and set up, I will take it over to a body of water and try a float test. Thanks for tuning in. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's install. So until next time, I'll see you back on the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Have a good one.